am sick, so I have plenty of time to show you the sketchbook I filmed when I was in uh, Rouen, that's in France, in Normandy. I went there for two days at the beginning of March. So here is what I used uh, when I was there. First, my little watercolor box with uh, Sennelier and Schminke watercolor. Really great quality watercolor. To apply watercolors, I had with me this travel brush. So you see, it's this way you use it. So it's a size uh, two, I think. Yes, size two. And it's more than enough to use on the go. When I when I travel, I really like to use uh, Pentel Acro brushes. I have I have a medium. This one is the medium, I think. Medium, big, medium. This is the medium. I have a thinner one too. You have the water inside here, and well, you just you know use it the way you want. And that's very convenient because you don't have to take some water with you. Which you have to when you use these brushes, of course. For sketching, I didn't use any pencil because I wanted it to be rough, very rough uh, drawings. I want, didn't want to give me any chance to erase. I wanted just a spontaneous drawing. So I used felt tip pens, um, a unitip, unipin, unitip, unipin ones, this one, point one, point one and point 0.4, so because the point 0.4 is more convenient when you want to write something, like the description of your sketch. So I use these two, and, and that's it, that's it, you don't need much, so and of course, of course, my sketchbook. This is a Sennelier urban sketchbook. So, you know, you can, you can draw only one drawing, like a mile of paper. So, let's see what's in, in it. So, let's begin. This was, I did this at the end of my trip um, just to I just copy the, um, the sign with the name of the city that you can find in every city in France so when you come into a city you have this kind of sign like the name in black and it's surrounded by a red a red what a red frame yeah, a red frame. Can't find my words today. So this was the first day. Uh, it's called the Big Clock, Le Gros Horloge. It's a very, very nice place. Very pretty. It's a very old, uh, golden and beautiful clock in the center of the city. I was shy. I was shy, stopping in the street. Um, taking the time to draw amongst everyone i don't know i was afraid to 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 be seen drawing which was stupid because people they walk around you they don't care about what you're doing basically so this was the first day um later on that day i stopped for lunch in this very nice um bakery I guess this kind yes because it sold bread and pastries and and they also sold salads and sandwiches that was very good that was very good excellent and it was so pretty there was these girls they were talking there was a third girl but I don't have the time to 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 sketch her so so there was this beautiful frame on the wall with uh, tapestry inside it was different pieces of different tapestry I, I guess and it was very very pretty too so I had a little sketch what I was eating 
Later on the day, I went on my way to the Natural History Museum. I saw this beautiful uh, corner of the street. This reminds me a lot of what I saw when I was in uh, Exeter, England, on a school trip many years ago, because I'm an old lady, you know. And uh, yes, with these little red bricks, it was it was just a nice place, very pretty. So I wanted to to keep it. So, so this is at the oh, well, yes. at the Natural History Museum. I love this kind of museum because I don't know they show you things that were like fossils or you know what I prefer is this kind of monsters. Um, I don't know if this is a word in English, but it was called uh, teratology, the science of monsters. And I don't know, it's kind of fascinating. It reminds me of X-Files and this kind of things that I love to, draw, to, to watch. That I loved to watch when I was younger. The samurai, he was in the Asian district of the museum. There was a place where they show uh, different different cultures. Basically, later on that day, when I was waiting for my boyfriend to join me for dinner, um, I was waiting in front of the cathedral, which is a very, very beautiful. The first time I saw it, I, I thought, wow, this is way too, too, too detailed and way too beautiful so I can draw it. I, I will never be able to to sketch it properly. The morning of that day, I saw at the Fine Art Museum uh, paintings of uh, Monet of this cathedral, and it wasn't much in details, you know, with impressionism. So I thought maybe I can give it a try. It's not about if I wanted to make a perfect picture. Yes, I guess I would just take a picture of it with a camera, but that's not what I want to do. I just want to sketch what I feel so this is this is it this is what happened it's it's okay I guess so later on that day we went to a restaurant Le Marché which was very good very good very nice nice ambience nice people nice food the next day I spent my whole morning in a, in a mall shopping for art stuff and uh, I stopped for for lunch at Le Paradis du Fruit, Fruit Paradise, which is a very very good um, restaurant too that you can find in different places in France. And uh, after that this is the view I had a par panoramic view I had over the city um, in the afternoon of that day before leaving. So I took my time, but not too much. This is the Seine River here, see? And there were these two lovers who were taking selfies. The, the colors were added sometimes. I added colors later, when I was back at home, especially this part. And uh, I also, when I was at home, added this. This is my little sign. This is my signature now. I totally stole it from uh, Louise. I loved this idea I saw in one of our videos, so I did it too. I, I carved just my own stamp and, well, I did it. So it's nice, this is my signature. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like it and if you wish to see more videos. Bye bye!